Mindfulness is the increased awareness of what's happening in the present moment, right here and now, from a place of curiosity instead of judgment. As you know, we all get told how to be, what to do, so much confinement and constriction that we can lose our authentic voice and what it is that we want to do and who we are. So mindfulness allows us to have space, some care, some kindness and compassion to really discover what it is that makes us tick and live life from that place. It, it just naturally brings a sense of connectedness, rightness, aliveness uh, to the way that we live life. That's one of the beauties of using mindfulness for self-discovery. Mindfulness and compassion go hand in hand. It's like two wings of a bird. One without the other, you can't get anywhere. <laughs> it's like the yin without the yang. So as humans, we're making mistakes all the time. And when we're mindful of it, we also have to bring in some kindness, some care, like we would a best friend. We need to treat ourselves and our own material with that felt sense of love and care and generosity. Another beautiful thing about mindfulness is it helps us access our internal compass. Uh, instead of being drawn around by what other people's expectations are of us, uh, we get to find our own rudder, our own truth, our own sense of right and wrong, and, and come from that place more of the time. You ever get stuck in repeating patterns despite your efforts to change them? They can be certain substances or behaviors, relationship patterns that you're just tired of. Uh, it's one of the reasons why people come in my office and mindfulness allows us to take a look at what's going on. If you're consciously wanting to change something, but your behavior doesn't follow suit, it's a pretty good indication that there's something unconscious happening. Mindfulness allows us access to that unconscious material so that we can change those kinds of things. There needs to be a balance as well between being and doing. We get so much validation for doing and producing, especially in a capitalistic society, that sometimes we neglect just hanging out, just being and getting to know ourselves and relax. So mindfulness allows us to do just that. So aside from just our thoughts and feelings, one of the essential aspects of discovery, self-discovery, is what are our physical sensations? Mindfulness allows us access to that material. Are we feeling constriction or expansion? Are we feeling some heat or vibration or coldness or whatever it is, it's another window into what's going on for ourselves internally so that we can learn to navigate our environment differently. 